Sew It Like a Man, Bikini Posing Suit, View B, Tutorial. Fold over fabric the necessary amount. The center back should be laid on the fold of the fabric. If you can serve fabric as shown here, you may get more than one suit per half yard. Repeat the process for the lining. Make sure front pouch is face sides together. Stack lining pieces on top of self pieces and pin together. With all four layers pinned together, push the fabric up under the presser foot all the way to the needles. Overlock the pieces together, making sure that all layers are sewn. Turn front pouch face side out. Match the face side of the pouch at waist to the side edge of the back at the waist. Pin together.
Push the pinned layers up under the presser foot all the way to the needles. Overlock the seams together. With face sides together, match the front pouch and the back piece at the crotch. Pin in place. Push fabric up under presser foot all the way to the needles. Overlock the layers together. Although the pattern gives measurements for the amount of elastic around the leg openings, it really isn't necessary to cut before you apply the elastic. You may find that you will use less. However, I needed to give an amount for those who desire it. A note about elastic stretching. Stretch elastic a little bit while applying the elastic to the front pouch and side areas. Stretch elastic more, about half of the stretch amount when stitching to the buttocks area. This will help to cup the area. I prefer to start the elastic application near the crotch. It's least noticeable. Match the elastic to the edge of the fabric and push up near the needles. Make a few stitches to get the elastic secured to the fabric. Begin stretching the elastic as you sew. Try not to stretch the garment fabric.
This is a good time for the buttonhole for the drawstring. Since there are a lot of seams at the center front, I'm placing the buttonhole a bit to the side. Place the buttonhole at the center of the one inch allowance for the elastic. Follow your machine's instructions for creating a buttonhole. I use a piece of stiff fabric underneath to help the machine sew. Cut waist elastic desired amount. Suggestion is on pattern. Mark each end in one inch from the edge. Overlap matching cut edge to one inch marks. Pin in place. Stitch the elastic ends together on the one half inch mark. Divide the elastic into four equal parts. I begin at the overlapped area of the elastic. Divide the garment into four equal parts at the waist.
Beginning at the center back, match the marks on the elastic to the pins on the garment. Pin in place. Beginning near the center back, slide fabric under the presser foot at an angle. Begin sewing. Stretch elastic to match the size of the garment between pins. Fold over elastic to inside of garment. Keep edge of elastic a flush edge. Pin if desired. Stitch down folded elastic edge with a zigzag stitch. I'm using a three-step zigzag stitch.
Cut open buttonhole with seam ripper or scissors. Be careful not to cut the elastic. Cut drawstring at least six to eight inches longer than the waist. Tie a knot at one end. Using a large safety pin, pierce the knot. Slide the safety pin into the buttonhole and gradually work it through and around the waist. When you get back to the buttonhole, continue to work the drawstring until there is enough drawstring to tie a knot with. Tie the opposite end in a knot. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more sewing patterns and tutorials, please visit sewitlikeaman.com.